In this lesson, we'll be installing the OpenHPC components. The previous step that we took was to disable the firewall. Remembering to be root and to have your environment sourced, we will install the OpenHPC repository for local use. Say yes to install it. We'll need to do the same for the EPEL repository. When that's complete, we also need to enable the XCAT repository. Hopefully, you already have your mutils installed, but if not, I've repeated the step there. Then we need to pull down the XCAT repository and we need to enable the XCAT dependencies. Now that we have the OpenHPC repositories enabled, we can install further OpenHPC packages using yum. The common base package for OpenHPC is installed with yum. The OpenHPC base packages are 68 megs. Once that's done, we install the XCAT provisioning system to the SMS host. The XCAT download is approximately 240 megs. Once the XCAT is finally installed, we can enable the XCAT tools for use in the current shell. Using the same source, the same rule applies to sourcing this file. You need to resource xcat.sh whenever you open a new shell. Finally, we're going to configure the NTP services on SMS host. Start the service going to watch what changes we make to the file. Echo. Going to add a line at the end of this config file that points to the NTP server that we've defined in that environmental variable. We've just added that because NTP server was defined as time to google.com. Restart the NTP server. And that's where we'll end. Going through the OpenHPC recipe, one step mentioned in the guide is the IPMI tool. Currently, there's no way to implement IPMI on a VirtualBox VM. So we skip that command anyway. Since we're only running two virtual machines in our virtual cluster, the admin of rebooting multiple machines and sending them to boot to the PXC, etc. is not too high. In the next video, we'll add resource management services on the master node.